Hello everybody from backstage at the Dolby Theater where we are in a very special spot. This is where celebrities wait to go on the stage. Now it's hard to communicate how close that stage is. It's really just a few steps on the other side of that wall. And look at this fascinating display here in the Rolex booth. This is an environmentally conscious display 24 minutes long, each minute represents one hour of a day in the Arctic. So in the course of this tour of the Celebrity Green Room, you will see these lights change as the light changes in an entire day. Now, this is a sanctum. This is a quiet place. This is really close to where the celebrities go on stage to present their awards on the big night with at least 30 million Americans watching. So this is a place to chill out. This is a place of calm in the midst of the bustle that is a major production like the Academy Awards. Now this is put on and developed by Rolex. This is the fifth year that the watchmaker has sponsored this green room. Why it's called the green room is lost in the mists of show business time. Sometimes the waiting room is green, other times it isn't. It is always called a green room. And this is where presenters come, this is where folks with the presenters come, and you can chill out before and after your big appearance on the big show. And look at how plush and how much attention is paid here to a star's comfort. To put it simply, folks, this is where they are pampered. This is where some of the biggest stars in the world come to relax before the tension of appearing in front of so many people and, of course, in front of their peers. So there's a big theater right out there, right on the other side of this beautiful environmentally conscious display by Rolex. and. That's where the action is. They won't let us there because rehearsal's going on right now. But this is a room where the folks can come and they can find a peace, find a calm in the midst of all the tumult. Now, Rolex has been doing this since 2016. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a labor of love because uh, it's, it's a labor of love for some of the most famous people in the world. And if you're just joining us, we are in a room that is really in the midst of the stage right area here at the Dolby Theater. Outside there, it doesn't look like this. It's a hallway. It's filled with machinery. It's filled with equipment. And it's anything but glamorous. The hallway is between this beautiful room and that beautiful stage. They are literally that close. And Mike, could you pan over? As I told you up top, this display changes and it will change in the time that we are together. And each minute in this display represents an hour. 24 minutes for 24 hours. It's actually done with mirrors. It's fascinating. It looks like you're looking at something behind a piece of glass. As it changes again, you see. And this is soothing. You know, this is a big, tense night for these celebrities. And this is a way to just look and to just think okay. It's not really a message, it's just a way of calming. It's very zen if you believe in that. Now, Mike, if you could go left, you'll see this is also available here. This is the spread. I suspect this is just a sample spread. This is a spread the day or two before. The spread Oscar night is going to be a little more elaborate but if I know anything about celebrities they really don't eat can you imagine eating back here and then going out and realizing that oh my god maybe something stuck in my teeth or something well the fact is there's not a lot of eating that goes on here people are nervous for one thing I heard a great story one time and this makes sense that the only people who are not nervous Oscar night are the people who are married to the presenters who are married or companions to the nominees who might or might not win. Nominees, presenters, anyone involved up on that big stage, they're going to be nervous, even the veterans. People who are just coming along for the ride, 
they can take it easy. Famous example, Rachel Weiss, when she was uh, uh, nominated a few years back, she came with her husband, Daniel Craig, and he looked just as cool as 007. So they are the calm ones. If you're on that big stage on the other side of that wall, well, you're not so calm. But I really think, having been here just a few minutes with you, I feel a little calmer. This is really good. Usually it's, this is minimalist, more minimalist. Usually there is, uh, there's more stuff in this room. There's more food in this room. But right now, there's this beautiful display, which if you can see has changed again. And uh, behind you is the Oscar. There's the Oscar. At the head, the entrance of this beautiful green room. There is absolutely no mistaking where you are. You are in the waiting room, Oscar's waiting room, before the stars go on, they are here. Look at how spacious it is, look how calm it is, look how relaxed it is, and you know even on show night it doesn't get that much more frenetic. Now, one of my favorite stories about this room was the famous year of the mistake when the envelopes got switched and the wrong winner was announced. Do you remember that? Jimmy Kimmel was the host. Well, after the show went off the air, the people involved came into this room, the green room, to sort out what happened. And that was perhaps a moment when you could truly say that this green room became part of history, Oscar history. The biggest mistake in the history of the Oscars was resolved, at least in part, in this room by network executives and those involved. Jimmy Kimmel was involved as well. So a piece of history. It's a temporary room. It won't last after a Sunday late night. They take it down by Monday morning. It's an island of calm, a room in the midst of the bustle, which is created out of a hallway. And the folks at Rolex who have been doing this since 2016 do such a great job. It looks like an elegant star's living room. In actual fact, we're in a big hallway in a big theater in the middle of a shopping center. But you would never know it. One last look around. I'm going to step this way as Mike steps that way. You can see night has fallen in the Arctic. <laughs> and. Uh, our camera is now brighter than that display. We've seen it go through several transformations. There are a couple of tables where very expensive watches will be placed uh, on uh, Oscar night. And folks, just come here. There's a lot of room. Because the fact is, folks, this is an exclusive tour, and we thank Rolex for that, but not a lot of people get to come into this room. It's a very elegant space for very few lucky people. Reporting from inside Oscar's Green Room, I'm Sandy Kenyon, Eyewitness News.